Gary, out of the best scripts that you've read in your life and of those that have been made into films, on average, how long has it been between the time that you read the script and the time that the movie came out, kind of came to fruition? Oh, gosh. Um, a long time? From the time that I've held a script in my hand, whether I'm the producer and I pr put it on the big screen or someone else's, it was someone else's child to raise, um, the, the length of stay between script and, and, and actual produced film varies so dramatically, and it's not necessarily based on budget, um, but, but there are so many, it's one of the most collaborative media um, one can imagine. You know, if I'm a fine artist, I can paint a painting without permission today. But if I want to make a film, and I want to make a film for, let's say, a million dollars, or a hundred million dollars, or five hundred thousand dollars, I need a lot of inputs. Uh, and I need a lot of preparation. My films, the fastest, I actually did several films, what I consider to be at breakneck pace, which was three years from script to screen. Pretty Woman was three years. Under Siege was three years. Um, there were there was a couple of indies that were less, and some studio films that were longer. Um, uh, but but there is no there is no proper standard. Every film dies a thousand deaths. Some of them are deaths by paper cuts, and some are death by massive train wrecks. And then you resuscitate, you move on, and and and. You know, Forrest Gump reportedly was, I don't know, 13 or 15 years between script and screen. So you never, there's no, there's no rule. What is the best way for a writer to make a living as a writer in today's age, 2017? Doing rewrites, um, you know. I think, I think the best way for, if I were a writer today, if I were entering the business today, or I were in the business today as a writer, as a professional writer, um, I, th I think there are several things. Assuming, you know, listen, if you're David Kelly and you have that level of success, you already know your path. But if you're not yet David Kelly or you're not yet the equivalent of that on the feature film side, whatever that might be, um, if you don't have that little trophy on your shelf, uh, I think one of the great things you can do for yourself is to be more diversified. Now, I know that that's probably contrary to old school thinking which says specialized, become the best at one thing and known for one thing. But I think we are all today brands. Each and every one of us is brand building. And to the extent that we can, that involves audience, it involves public, it involves uh, our colleagues in the business. And um, so if, if you happen to be a writer and you wanna do um, TV and film, that's okay. If you wanna do uh, you know, apart from TV and film, if you want to be writing a blog, that's okay. If you want to be looking at creating uh, alternative content, or let's just say a TV series, uh, what, I won't use the word TV. If you want to create a series on YouTube, I absolutely applaud it because today the rules are out the window. And people are looking for um, their talent in every conceivable corner, every nook and cranny, and a lot of that is social media. A lot of it is the unexpected. And, and, and the same is true in reverse. If you're selling ideas, you're no longer limited to selling to ABC, CBS, and NBC, or on the feature side of Paramount, Warner, Disney, Universal, et cetera. You have all of these other sort of counterculture approaches, or, or the new Hollywood, if you will. And it's Hulu, and it's Amazon, and it's Netflix, and it's, it's, it's Redbox, and it's all these other companies that have uh, real meat on the bone, real distribution, real capital, uh, and 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 then brands. You know, there's all these relationships with brand-driven stuff on 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 social platforms. So, I think the key question is not uh, is is to understand who you are as a creator, where you properly can succeed, where you are excited, uh, and where you think your audience lives and consider those alternatives too while you're writing your Oscar candidate of a screenplay or whatever that thing is.